Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. And guys, Netflix stock is moving. After hours today, it popped up about 5%, which might not seem like much, but that is hundreds of millions of dollars in market cap and money getting pumped into this stock because of some sort of news. So we're going to be talking about what's going on, what this means, should you buy, should you sell, and just kind of giving you guys my honest thought process behind this. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys do, hit that like button, subscribe, and if you guys want to learn more about swing trading, trading in the market, check out our school. It's awesome. It's an eight-week course. You won't regret it. So let's jump into this here. So Netflix. Why are we getting so much buying pressure? Well, Netflix released an earnings report. So this is when the company comes out and they give you all of the good, all of, all of the bad. They give you the revenue, the cash flow, things that they're working on, things that they probably cut. So actually, Netflix came out and pretty much said, hey, we are balling. So looking at this here, their income statement beat almost every single expectation here. So the EPS, also known as the earnings per share, was going to be near and around $5.12, but they brought in $5.40. The revenue was expected to be near and around $9.78 billion, but they brought in $9.82 billion. And yes, we're only talking about a couple million dollars, whatever it is. Guys, for for a massive company like Netflix, this is fuel. This is what investors love to see. They love to see a company going out, beating expectations. This is going to cause hedge funds, analysts. This is going to cause retail investors to want to pick up some of their some of their stock here. Also, we saw their streaming paid memberships climb. Looking at this here, they're expected to have near and around 281.9 million, but they have about 282.7 million, which is good. Paid memberships uh, net is near and around 5.07 million. So beating expectations there. So they beat expectations on every single important metric for the future for this stock here, as well as their total revenue grew 15% year over year. And, uh, the, the firm said it expects revenue growth of 15% for 2024. So guys, Netflix stock is looking good. So let's talk about should you buy this position here, buy this stock here. Looking at the chart here, you guys will notice that Netflix stock has definitely seen some good amount of volatility. The stock's gone from actually about $700 all the way to lows at about $150 a share. Now, during this time here in this range, everybody was scared. Everybody was nervous because there were so many, there's so many streaming services. I feel like every every company nowadays that makes movies has a streaming service that competes with Netflix. But in my opinion, Netflix is the leader of streaming. Netflix and probably Disney Plus would be my main two that I think are the leaders of the pack. Now, looking at this here, you guys can see this stock absolutely skyrocketed up. So let's talk about should you buy it. Looking at some, some of what the analysts state here, the average analyst price target right now for Netflix is about $7.48. So from its current price here, that's going to be a return. We can actually draw it out. That's going to be a return of near and around about 10%. 8%. So it's not a crazy move, but I definitely think investing into Netflix is like investing into tech. The issue though is volatility. It's still a high risk, high reward play. Investing into this isn't going to be like investing into Coca-Cola or Home Depot, something that grows at a smaller rate and you guys get dividends. This one here, the stock's either moving or it's selling off. So the best thing that I would recommend doing if you're wanting to invest into this, one is to dollar cost average. Invest consistently because yes, Netflix was just hitting all time highs and you hear that expression, buy low, sell high. So you sell off to your advantage. And number two, if you're gonna go heavy in on a position, I personally would want it near and around that 200 day moving average line. So about $617. And yes, I know, we might never get sell off back there, but the biggest thing is just being prepared. In the general stock market crash, everything crashes, so pick up some shares. So guys, that's what's going on with Netflix. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys did, hit that like button, 
subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.